Since I love people who know how to cook, I'm very excited about my next guest. In his new book, Eat Delicious, 125 Recipes for Your Daily Dose of Awesome, that's like the greatest title, yeah. he teaches us how to make comfort food from around the world, and lucky for me, he is here. Please welcome Dennis the Prescott. Hey, Dennis. Hey, thanks thanks for having me. Thanks so much. Now, We've been talking about role models today. Who, who yeah. have been some of your role models? I mean, my parents are my greatest role models for sure. Uh, in the food world, Jamie Oliver. Uh, I learned how to cook from Jamie Oliver. You know, I was a musician for 10 years, actually, so I've got a ton of those as well. So, so, yeah. so you, you, you were playing music, and then I heard that you started, you know, flipping through these Jamie Oliver books and yeah. discovered that you may be a better cook than a musician? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, it took too long, about 10 years of being <laughs> a full-time right. musician to learn that, but, you know, uh, the musical experience is really rich in uh, musical experiences. Yeah. Terrible for finance. Horrible. <laughs> so I, uh, I was in Nashville making pasta with butter on it. I was, uh, you know, going to the dollar menu, and I just, I needed a change. So I went to the li library. I took out three cookbooks, started working my way through them, and became obsessed. Isn't that incredible yeah, how your amazing. passion can sort of reveal itself to you? Yeah. You know, unexpectedly like I mean, that. and I definitely, like, this, it was, I wanted to make some nice food for my family, for me to feel better and to learn a few things. No expectation of ever doing this as a job, that's for sure. Well, looking at this food, you're about to make me feel a, a whole lot better. <laughs> what are we gonna be making today? So we're making one of the first things that I fell in love with while living in Nashville. It's pulled pork. Yes! It, it Woo! Is. This so, is, I'm telling you, I can tell by looking at it, it's, this is the real deal. It's the, southern food is the food of the gods, as Hello. far as I'm concerned. <laughs> It does not get any better. No. I, listen, I live in New York. My mother was from New York. Hello, baby. You tell <laughs> the truth. Perfect. So, yeah. bar, I mean, pulled pork, so much easier than you'd think it would be to make at home. Um, really, you know, go out, get a bone in, five pound pork shoulder. Okay. You want a shoulder with a bone. It's working. That animal's, you know, doing a lot of work. It takes a little bit longer to break down, but it tastes so much better. Okay. Um, Cover that in your spice rub. We've got some awesome fragrant spices here, like brown sugar, uh, smoked paprika, cayenne, garlic, onion powder, nice bit of kosher salt. Cover that in a little bit of olive oil, your spice rub, in the fridge overnight, walk away. Okay. Don't do anything. Next day, turn your oven on, um, about 425, get a nice Dutch oven on real high heat. You wanna sear all those sides, and you're gonna get the most oh amazing. Can you guys see that? So, you know, it's interesting, I, I love to, to, to barbecue, and, and I normally will put it, you know, put it in, in a smoker, but, sure. but this, this is easier, I guess, right? So much easier, you don't need the equipment. I love, sm I, I smoke things all the time. Right. Food. Yeah. At right. home. <laughs> and, uh, Thank you for clarifying that. No problem. <laughs> My band's like, huh? Ah, ah. <laughs> How do you move on from that? Anyway. This goes in the oven for about uh, six or seven hours. Okay. At, at real low temperature, about 325. 325. So how, how long do you keep it on high? For 20 minutes or so? Immediately drop it right down. Because what it's going to do is it's going to hit it really hot. Okay. Just for a second. Char it. Char it naturally. That's how you get that bark on Absolutely. There. And that's the, best, that's the best bit. And then cover it up, know. put it in there at 325, 325 for seven or eight hours. Seven or eight hours, basically until it's falling apart and your kitchen smells like absolute heaven. Yes. Take that out, and then you just take a couple forks, break that apart. Okay. Uh, real easy, discard the bone or anything like that. Okay. And then cover that with as much barbecue sauce as your heart desires. Okay. I have, this is my home, this is my barbecue sauce Can from I the try, book. Can I try it? Of course. It. And this you, is your special thing. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah it's spicy, Thank it's you. sweet, it's very balanced. It's yeah, good. yeah, you want it to be a one-two punch, right? Mm -hmm, that's good. Uh, and then a nice slaw to go with that. For me, pulled pork sandwiches, you need a real Gotta nice slaw. Gotta have slaw. Need it. Uh, and then some nice dressing with apple cider vinegar, lemon juice. So why don't you mix that up and sure. I'll mix this up. How yeah. much barbecue sauce do you like? I go medium amount, you know? Whatever you think is. You great. can put this on tap too if you don't want it mixed in, but I feel like it's the best thing to do. Wow. Uh, uh, where does the the come from in your name? Dennis the Prescott. Yeah, so uh, Gmail was this new beta, super cool email service that was coming out, because I'm old. And uh, they, a friend sent me a beta invite, and somebody copped Dennis Prescott and stole that from me. So apparently there's another, there's another one out there. And uh, I just, on a whim, Dennis the Prescott, and it's kind of stuck with me. I, I want to be Harry the Connick the Jr. You can do it. I feel like it's I got space point, for two of them. Right. Well, your show could be the Harry. Yeah, the half. <laughs> That's good. So we take the barbecue. So real simple, we're gonna do that. Do you Put wanna, it on a bun. Do you wanna plate that up? Yeah, yeah, I'll I don't need a plate. Shoot, <laughs> we, we, we eating pulled pork. There's no time for plates. That's right. 
Look at that. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a lot on because I like it. Well, you put as much as your heart desires. Okay, as far don't as put I'm a little concerned. slaw on top. Now, what do you got going on over here with some sweet Look, potatoes? Sweet potatoes. So if you're like me, I would add some pickles and hot sauce. You do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, no, I just, I'm too hungry. You do it. So sweet potatoes, for me, perfect side for pulled, for pulled pork sandwiches. Hold on, hold on, give it up. No, no, no. That was a personal, that was just, you know, are we on a middle name basis, though? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Do you want to know my middle name to sure. be on that basis? Yeah. It's Frederick, actually. Frederick, I like yes. the. Yeah, me too. It's, it's much better. You, now you understand why I changed it. I get it. The, is, this is some of the best uh, pulled pork I've had in a long time. Oh, good, thank Really you. good, and thank the slaw is good, that's, too. That's awesome. Yeah, aside, uh, you know, real simple, some nice uh, coriander, smoked paprika, cayenne, a little bit of salt. Toss that in some olive oil, really, real easy. Toss that on a, on a sheet pan, put it in the oven for about 45 oven. minutes. Great. So 45 minutes, uh, well, you're getting all this ready to go. Everything's ready to go at the same Ooh, time. Oh boy! Perfect. Those and a little, little side of some uh, some curried mayo with uh, different curry powders, some lime juice that you can just put, squeeze that right in some mayo. Oh here wow! If you want to do oh, that's that? That's a good idea. Just just plain old mayonnaise and just, some, just the lime. Yeah, you, whatever your favorite brand of mayonnaise is. Wow, I love that. And then you go perfect. Ooh, and it's man. just nice, fragrant. This commercial break coming up is going to be the longest one I've ever taken. <laughs> So if y'all gotta go shop at Walmart, now be the time. We're just gonna take like a 48 minute commercial break <laughs> while I finish this up, just kidding. For these recipes, go to harrytv.com. The book, Eat Delicious, is available everywhere. And everybody in the studio audience is getting a copy of Dennis the Press Guy's book. We'll be right back. 